Good morning friends. Today I am going to demonstrate how to install Arista V EOS on the EV engine. For that you need to log in into the Arista website and download these images. So let me download this image first. and then QCOW image so it's a 533 MB file so it may take time so I'll pause till that time So we are done with the download. So we have downloaded two files that is a boot VOS serial 801.iso and VOS dash lab dash 429.2f dot qcow2. So let's create one folder and then you can copy the same name from here. make it small letter v uos 429.f then copy these both images into this folder and change this about v uos serial 801 to cd rom .iso and this ev os lab 429.2f into hda.qcow2 that's it and we can simply copy this folder into evng and it will work let's copy it using the filezilla into evng so ip for evng is 192.168.5.129 let's go to filezilla open 192.168.5.129 then we need to click on top We need to go to opt unit lab add-ons and then qmu and we can download we can upload that file to here here is our download file folder copy this particular file from here to slash op slash unit lab slash add on slash qmu so we are uploading this folder to evng we are done so let's ssh the evng so we are logged into evng and just run the slash op slash unit lab slash wrapper UNL underscore wrapper hyphen A and fix the permission. Yeah, so we have fixed the permission. So let's go to the browser and try for EVNG 192 168. 5.129 let's try the Arista node VEOS it's highlighting here 429.2f and then let's start I'll pause the video it may take some time so router is up but you will continuously see the zero trust provisioning error 
and router will continuously look for the DHCP version 4 query message to set up the router initially. So by default login pa uh, user id is admin and we don't have any password and before going for any configuration we need to remove those zero touch provisioning configure zero touch disable and once you enter that command router is going to reboot automatically So router is up now let's log in admin enable and if we can configure let's try the host name yeah. after that you should be able to save the configuration yeah that's it and our Arista VOS is working fine so you can configure it normally. Thank you very much for watching.